And a bit of a crowd in here. This is uh, not good for the racing class. They're too crowded. Uh, Bob Perry, on the other hand, in 19, has got plenty of space. That looks terrific. And 20 is talking to somebody, but it's Fred Baker, but he's late at getting up here. There's something wrong with their boat. Bob Perry's able to tack and cross out of there. Interesting play. Something's wrong here. I hate it when that happens. Cost him a race. Okay, let's go up the course and see what's going on. A big split. Um, about seven boats going right, four boats going left, and one boat not racing. So the racing class is over a minute late getting across the line. Remember they were underneath all that traffic? How far behind Bob Perry they are. Started clean where the others are not. So the left boats, uh, Andrew Baker and Dave Bryan are looking pretty good. They do seem to be in a little bit of a lefty. Yeah, they're way ahead of uh, the three is definitely on the left. I'm currently leading the red crew. It's not the best start. Oh, these guys are looking great. So I'm counting crossing from the left, crossing Bob Perry, but way behind the two leaders who started left. So a picture of Mary Hennessy's boat going up wind. Trim looks good. Andrew Baker out to a huge lead now. Dave Bryan in nice second. Very stuck back and nearly dipping Jonathan Austin's boat. Bob Perry is now working the left instead of the right. It could be as high as fifth at the moment. Fifth or sixth. Traveler's up a little bit on this boat. That would matter more with the Genoa, but it definitely looks good with the jib. My cannon has started left and behind a bit. Well, round third behind a bit. Pedipaw's up there in fourth, assuming they're making the mark. But Perry fifth. And uh, Sal Rosen sixth. Unless Jonathan Austin get a lefty and get him. Mary Hennessy seventh. You got eighth. Racing class maybe ninth. So that a lead change on the run. Uh, DiCapo was late to job over to Port. Uh, Dave Bryan went by him after the job. However, uh, Andrew Baker's boat still owns the right gate mark. Oh, wait a minute. Dave Bryan's coming over here to the right gate mark. Cover the competition. Interesting. A lot of boats running down here at once. Andrew's running second. Bob Perry third now. Picked up my cannon downwind. Cannon rounds fourth by simultaneous with a pedipod at the uh, other game mark. I can just hack. Well, Bob Perry hack is going to be an opening for my cannon. Now everybody's tacked. Mike Cannon's left by himself in a header. Two 
Jonathan Austin's chicken from the uh, rounds now in six. Uh, Hennison in seventh. Saw Rosen getting around now in eighth. Fred Baker's climbed back for ninth after running over that massive bag. He's tied with the race class for ninth. Oh, Ben Ica goes inside the race class. He's about to ram us. Oh, it turned just in time. Okay, so Brian's a leader. Looking good here. Baker's getting pre fed, but both not set yet. Little later getting that set up. They have such a big lead, this late set will not hurt them. That goes. Okay. 17 and oh, Jonathan Austin's up to second. Up to third. And um, Andrew Baker fourth. Immediate set by Jonathan Austin's young team. They need some more sheet, they got it. Bob Perry also with a quick set. Jim's already down on their boat, but Spinnaker has an hourglass. Which looks like it's coming out. And presto. They have a Spinnaker. Andrew Baker's team in fourth. Saul Rose in fifth. Brad Cannon's dropped to sixth, was originally third. Petapod's seventh. I think a Petapod Spinnaker already coming out. Pulls already up, and they're setting. Oh, early job. I got a pause team. They had the option because they were the first one to set. That could, that could be a winning move. Mary Hennessy's team is next. Well, they never preset the guy on this boat. Now the guy's coming back. But he's kind of completely behind the main. Okay. Uh, Fred Baker's now ninth. Well, they lost some ground. Uh, they had Ica doing a penalty turn earlier on the leg, but they're now they're barely ahead of Ica. So uh, that, that bag they ran over at the start is going to prevent them from doing any better than ninth this race. Look at Ica's spinnaker already up. Well, the Spinnaker's not fully drawn yet. Got some issues with it. Got it too loose, sheet too tight. Fred Spinnaker went up a little bit of a wrap, but they've already got it squared away. They still have the sheet too tight on it. Ika. There we go. Uh, two or three more boats. Uh, two more. Oh, okay. Brian takes the bullet. Where is three? So Bob Perry is going to be second. Jonathan Austin third. Oh, would you have Bob Perry making a couple extra um, covering tacks here? Does he even have this? He's going to have to tack back. 
that's two attacks in rapid succession. That's going to cost him. There's a cost attacking. It's about a bow length per attack. I think Jonathan's going to get him. Cut the muffed. Right, Jonathan's got it. 